When it comes to cybersecurity, the mantra is not if, but when an attack will happen. Representative Kristen Bonner has a bill that would declare IT as critical infrastructure. We sat down and talked with her about that, what it means, and why it's important to act now. This is a, a nation-leading legislation, um, and in fact, in 2020, uh, the intranet named Minnesota as one of the top or the top leader in the nation on cybersecurity efforts. And this bill is really the critical first step that we need in order to ensure the safety of our state's infrastructure, as well as the data and the privacy of our citizens. Um, what it essentially does is it designates IT infrastructure as critical infrastructure in the event of a cyber attack. And that means things like ransomware or denial of service attacks, the phishing scams that we see continually going on. And all of those are small, tiny ways to probe our defenses and be able to create the maximum damage um, and inflict harm, uh, whether that's to get ransomware or, or get a ransom or whether it's just to cause chaos. Um, and so it's really critical that we take this first step. And so by designating IT as critical infrastructure, if we are attacked, what happens? Well, the good part about this bill is one, that it gives us two really main advantages. First, it allows us to act swiftly and without hesitation in the event that an attack would occur. The other really great part about this bill is it potentially opens us up to being able to receive federal disaster relief money, uh, God forbid, should an attack occur, which is a really important step because we've seen uh, tremendous damage caused by these. Um, even the city of Atlanta, which is not an entire state, uh, faced about 17 to $18 million in costs uh, when they fell under a ransomware attack, and that's before they even did the remediation. Uh, so quite frankly, uh, it's good for us to be good stewards of the taxpayers' dollars uh, by making sure that we plan ahead and that we are ready. All right, and this is something you want to act on now. Yeah, and I think the reason that we have to do it now is we have seen dramatic escalations in cyber attacks um, across the nation and across the world, quite frankly. Um, with uh, every five years, it seems like it almost uh, doubles in the amount of uh, cyber attacks. Uh, so we need to be act swiftly and without hesitation when something comes up. And the other really uh, important part of why we need to do it now is that with the conflict in Ukraine, we have seen alerts coming out from the FBI and Homeland Security that are saying that we have bad actors uh, like hackers uh, sponsored by the Russian state that are willing and able and have threatened the very infrastructure that we have uh, to create and inflict maximum damage uh, to anyone who opposes them or the conflict in Ukraine. And quickly, what do you think the chances are this gets through this session? Well, it has rose or risen to the attention of the governor. Um, I know that we have bipartisan and bicameral support uh, in both chambers, the House and the Senate. We are remarkably on track uh, and we have the full contingent of the IT uh, professionals in the House and Senate. So I think uh, as long as we're able to not play any shenanigans, we have a really good shot. And I, again, I would argue that acting swiftly and without hesitation, uh, I keep repeating those words because they are so critical in an event like this. All right, Representative Kristen Bonner, thank you for being here. We'll be watching. Thank you so much. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.